and this is Bob. Uh, hope everyone's week's going well. <laughs> Mine's going pretty good. Uh, I have been getting a lot, a, a lot, a lot of fan mail from people saying, Hey Bob, when are you going to get your own comic? Hey Bob, when's your comic coming out? Hey Bob, do you think you should have your own comic? And I, I don't know where all this is coming from. I mean... The only comic strip I'm familiar with is Garfield, and I wouldn't know how to write anything about that. I don't know anything about cats. It's always been sort of Mr. Wilson's thing. I'm like a, a dog guy myself. But I mean, if everyone wants me to have a comic strip that badly, I mean, I, I figured I'd, I'd at least try like a cartoon or something. So I, uh, I drew up a few cartoons and submitted them to the New York Times, and I got a response today. Let's, let's see what it says. Dear Mr. Bob, you didn't give us a last name. Though we found your comic interesting and sometimes humorous, it lacks the wit that we usually strive for. Maybe you should try the sun, it's more their bag. Well, I guess that's your answer. They're not interested in my comic, and I mean, I don't see the point of submitting something to the sun. It's it's awfully hot, and you'd have to go really out of your way to to read it, you know? I, I don't know anyone who's ever been to the sun. I mean, how do they even print it? You know, wouldn't it just melt? Whatever. I guess we'll go on to video viewer mail. Uh, I got two, to, two this week that... It, it, it's weird, they sort of have a similar look to them, but they're from two completely different channels, and it, it's strange that they both came on, on on this week, you know? But, what, what can you say? I, I, I guess we'll, we'll cut to that first with that Kang guy. You know, he, he apparently knows Mr. Wilson or, or something. Yeah, yeah, but just, just pull up that, pull up that video, Steve. Oh, hi, Bob. How's it going? My name is Kang. I am Kang! Oh, okay, great. All right, Kang, I have a question for you. Kang got the deadbeat, leave a Kang all the time. Tell me, oh, hey, I pay you back, just give me food. And I go, I get ahead, give him food. They go ahead, he eat all food. He never pay me back, though. Why well, you tell Kang what he, Kang's supposed to do, huh? No, oh, guess what? He leave me your number. Maybe you come by, you pay tax. Tap $10,000 American, you pay now, piece. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't try to, uh, call in your debts to Mr. Wilson, you know. He's, he likes to, uh pay his, 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 uh, his debts in, uh, dismemberment, you know, I, I, I need this guy who, who won a bet in, in poker, uh, to Mr. Wilson a, a couple months back, and, uh, he is now a quadriplegic. Not fun, not fun. I, I guess Mr. Wilson assumed he had a, a healing factor, too. So, yeah, uh, maybe you should just, just let that go. You know, what's a what's a, what's a, a meal here and there? But I I did notice, however, that you are wearing a, a Green Lantern symbol on your little apron thing there. Uh, you know, I've always really liked Green Lantern. Something about him just reminds me of Mr. Wilson. I just can't seem to put my finger on it. You know? But uh, so yeah, that's like I said before, that's not the only video uh, viewer mail we got this week. We got another one that has a sort of strangely similar look to it, but a uh, completely different channel. And uh, let's let's cut to that one. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not that one. It's it, yeah, yeah. That there we go. Hey Bob. So uh, I have a question for you. I've been watching your blog and. I have some items stockpiled in my basement, and well, I was wondering if I could successfully borrow you, if I don't know, I could, uh, keep you? I mean, uh, we could do fun stuff, like see a movie, or maybe go bowling, take down an organization we don't like. Oh, about Mr. Wilson. Not that I have anything against him. I used to have this kind of, um, feelings about him, too. I'd like to have some crazy fun before those police find those items, because that would be <laughs> terrible. So, um, get back to me on that, and I'll keep watching and making sure you're okay. So, uh, bye. <laughs> Do I have a 
sign on me that says kidnap me, uh, don't talk to me, just, you know, take me off wherever. Because this just seems to be a, a, a theme that's happening in my life. You know, when I, when I met my wife, she kind of uh, ransacked me and, and took me to Mexico. That's actually how we got married, you know, I was on a lot of LSD at the time. But, uh, so yeah, uh, you know, you seem like a nice girl. Uh, if I wasn't married, you know, maybe, maybe we, we could go and get some coffee or something. But, I'm sorry, you know, but it's, uh, it's not you, it's me. Now, about the weapons that you, or things, sorry, yes, things in your basement. Uh, that can come in very handy. You never know when a zombie apocalypse is going to be upon us. So, you know, maybe stockpile up. Maybe uh, get a couple uh, melee items. You never know when you're going to run out of uh, ammunition for your things. Yeah, so, uh, so yeah. Uh, that's always a good idea to have. Just in case something goes wrong. You gotta have a, a backup plan for society. So, yeah. Uh, that's at least something that I have learned from Mr. Wilson spending so much time with him. So I, ho I hope that that's useful, and I hope that uh, you guys will uh, continue to give me these great video responses and text comments. I, I really enjoy them, I really like reading them, and I hope to hear more from all of you in the future. Okay. Alright, bye everyone!